All right, here's a good question where you're asked to find the slope and the y-intercept. And sometimes it's hard uh, seeing exactly where those are. Uh, and I think in my labs, you can increase the size of that box. So if you see a plus sign, you can increase the size of the box. I think you'll be able to get it from here. Anyway, for the y-intercept, I'm picking the y-intercept at that point right there. So the point uh, x would be zero and the y value would be a negative one. So that would be my y-intercept. And then to get the slope, I have to get another point where the line goes right through it. And uh, I'm thinking a point right there might work. Maybe this point right up there. Maybe that point. It looks like there's a bunch of points that I can choose from that are going, they're hitting bang on uh, <clears throat> both axes uh, or both X and Y. And so you just pick any one of them and see what your rise and run would be. So I'll go from the Y-intercept and I'm gonna go up one, two, three. So I'm going up three and I'm running one. So the slope would be three over one or just simply three. And to get to go from any one of those points that I put on there to the other point, I think you're going up three and over one. Now, if you wanted to, if you like the formula, you could do the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so you could use this y-intercept as one of the points. And then you could also use, uh, say that point there, that point is two, five. Whoops, two, five. So you could use those points and plug them into the formula if you wanted to, wherever they're supposed to go, um, and find out the slope too. Hopefully that helps.